pretty much what we got today was as expected. The market already had that priced into it. I think if the Fed would have done anything other than cutting at a quarter point, we would, we would have seen a, a real serious reaction to that. I think the Fed has kind of painted themselves into a corner where they've been talking about uh, how strong our economy is and how things are going well. But yet overall, when you look from a global point of view, there's a lot of uncertainty that's out there. Uh, global growth has slowed down and we continue to talk about tariffs and the implications of that. Well, I think we can take Chairman Jerome Powell at his word that essentially this is a kind of insurance for the U.S. economy. Let's think about the fact that in the last series of rate increases, we had nine rate hikes. And the Fed is simply taking back one of those. You do the math, that's 11 percent. So I don't look at this as a significant move in the sense of undoing a lot of what the Fed has done over the past several years. But the Fed is seeing a number of signs on the horizon that are related to slowing global growth, uh, rising trade tensions, not only with the U.S. and China, but around the world. And it's also failed to hit its much discussed 2 percent inflation target. Inflation has been running below a level that the Fed is comfortable with. And so by trying to lower interest rates very slightly, uh, it believes that it's going to get closer to its goals of keeping the U.S. economic expansion going and perhaps get a little closer to its inflation target.